Internet Shaquille is the anti-YouTube YouTuber. He's a full-time creator that's been on YouTube for eight years and has over 650,000 subscribers. And he makes $250,000 per year. But he didn't know what CPM meant until last year. In fact, he had to Google it when someone asked him about it. On the surface, it seems like he's doing everything wrong. He largely ignores the algorithm and other YouTube meta strategies. And last year, he only made $80,000 from AdSense, which according to our data from Carrot Insights is about three times lower than what other creators of his size are making. He seems to have an aversion to doing brand deals and he's reluctant to scale his e-commerce business Barkley. But again, he still made a quarter of a million dollars last year posting one extremely short video per month. How did Shaq manage to remove the algorithm from the equation while still making a great living on YouTube? Well, let's get into it. If you're a creator and you're wondering how you can make more money and grow your following, Carrot just launched a new tool called Carrot insights. It's a free tool that uses our real data from actual creators to show you how much money your competition is making and exactly how they're making it. Carrot Insights also breaks down your growth, engagement, and income and shows you where you can improve relative to your peers. So if you're wondering how you're doing compared to your competitors or how you can make more money, Carrot Insights answers those questions. If you want to take your business to the next level and start making more money, you can sign up for Carrot Insights for free at the link in the description. Contrary to the name, internet that Shaquille, real name Victor Navarez, has nothing to do with basketball. He started his channel eight years ago, creating random vlogs on everything from a minute long explainer on why belts are gross to his now classic cooking videos. But then he pivoted into a full-time cooking channel a couple years into his career. Since then, he's grown his channel to almost 650,000 and amassed a loyal following of subscribers. What differentiates internet Shaquille from other cooking creators is Victor's focus on educating the casual home cook. His videos are relatively short, usually between 5 and 10 minutes, and he uses them to explain things like why certain dishes taste better at restaurants and how to properly use a microwave. Part of Internet Shaquille's appeal is his practical approach to not only cooking, but his concise, highly educational content style. Internet Shaquille might have a sizable following, but his AdSense revenue? Not so much. Compared to other creators of his size, his AdSense is three times lower than the average. He makes an average of $5,000 a month in ad revenue compared to the $15,000 other YouTubers of his size are making. Part of that is because his videos are shorter, which means fewer ads, although Victor doesn't include that many in the first place. The other part is because Victor doesn't care about the numbers. In fact, he's barely aware of how much he's actually earning. AdSense income floats around like 1500 to 2000 which I think is significantly lower than most people. A month? Yeah. Yes. Of course. Now, you might be thinking, well, then he's definitely over-indexing on brand deals to make up for that. Well, if you thought that, you'd be wrong. While most of his videos do have brand deals on them, he's only posting one video per month, so the slots are really limited. And he almost always includes the ad read at the end of his videos, which many creators will know, this is the spot that brands will pay you the least for. How Victor monetizes and how he schedules and structures his content pretty much goes against every single YouTuber best practice, but he still manages to bring in almost 250K a year. So then, What's his secret? Is there some genius money-making strategy behind it all? What's the reason behind Internet Shaquille's principled madness? The reason Internet Shaquille doesn't double down on monetization is because he doesn't really care. At least, not about getting super rich. In the same way that I just make sure that I have 40,000 views in a day, I like count off my hand if I made $10,000 that month and I'm feeling very good about it. Victor's goal is to just earn enough which is a mentality that's pretty rare in the world of social media with all its hustle culture and grind sets. He sets a goal for himself to earn $10,000 a month, which is enough to support himself and his family while still enjoying life. And once he reaches that mark, he just chills and hangs out with his wife and son. There's no pressure to get more brand deals or to make longer and more videos to boost his AdSense or to jump on whatever the latest YouTube trend is to get more views. He's just free to make what he wants, when he wants, without worrying about any of those things. But Victor didn't reach internet nirvana by just sitting back. 
He had a plan. Not only is he a very careful budgeter, but he also makes sure he has a cash-rich business. According to Victor himself, if his entire career as a creator went up in flames today, he wouldn't be freaking out that much because he's built up at least three years worth of runway through careful savings. Which is a smart move, since creators can literally be cancelled for anything at any moment. Pokimane came out with a new type of cookie and people are upset about it. That's seven. Seven dollars a bag. I know, I know math is hard when you're a But there's another huge aspect of Victor's business that we haven't touched on that greatly helps with the overall stability of his income. And that aspect is a consistent, dependable stream of income via Patreon. Patreon is my beloved. I would be ruined. Like, they are the one thing that I can depend on that is, like, the one yeah. income source that I'm most grateful for. His Patreon guarantees Victor at least $3,000 of income per month via his more than 1,300 paying subscribers. Compared to his peers, Victor is earning a much higher percent of his monthly income from Patreon versus other creators of his size. So how did he pull this off? By selling feet pics. Just kidding. Kinda. He built that following by having five different Patreon tiers that range from $3 a month to $100. Members get anything from early access to videos to exclusive content that, yes, does include feet pics, which is reserved for the most elite tier, of course. There have been at least five. They also get a special um, tier in the Discord server and so forth. But the real secret to Victor's Patreon success? A thriving community of fans and friends built on his Discord. Discord is a platform where people can talk and hang out virtually. Victor set up multiple tiers for his Patreon subscribers and a corresponding Discord server for subscribers above a certain tier. The Discord server access is of tremendous value. Yeah. The paywall is key. The goal was to foster a real community through his Patreon, which is difficult to do on a free Discord server where there could potentially be tens of thousands of people on it. But with the Patreon subscription fee, that naturally cuts down the number of people in his Discord, which makes it much more manageable to have genuine, in-depth interactions and conversations. As a result, Victor is left with a loyal following of subscribers who are happy to just support him and what he wants to do. The stability he's built off of Patreon is a or pillar to the peace of mind that Victor enjoys in his career. Recently, he's taken on something much more ambitious. Recently, a huge percentage of Shaq's revenue actually comes from his brand Barkley, which sells affordable handmade ceramic dinnerware. Victor was making his own ceramics for years before he launched Barkley last year. Naturally, he would share them on social media and his handmade dinner plates would get tons of interest from his followers, to the point where he eventually thought, Hey, can I do this fun thing without going broke on it? But it was far from a smooth ride, to the point where Victor almost gave up on Barkley. The whole ethos behind Barkley is quality handmade ceramics at an affordable price, which is great, but posed quite a few production challenges. If Victor wanted the brand to be completely handmade and artisanal, then he would have to charge hundreds of dollars per item to make decent margins. And if he wanted to keep it affordable, he would have to cut down on quality. In either scenario, he probably would have to take on investors who maybe didn't hold the same beliefs he did, which again would have compromised his personal beliefs and his brand. The solution? Funded himself. Since Victor runs such a cash rich business, he was able to fund Barkley out of pocket. That way, he could craft Barkley into what he envisioned without being hyper fixated on sales and profits. It took nine months for Victor to find a ceramicist who could produce quantity and quality for a reasonable price. And then there was the nightmare of shipping. That was a whole disaster in itself. Basically, Amazon owns shipping now, which I wasn't really yeah. aware of. There was basically one option in the metropolitan Phoenix area that is not Amazon, and so I used them. We ran into a lot of trouble with order accuracy, breakage, things going out on time, and I thought, if I have to do this over Amazon, I'd sooner shut the business down. Spoiler alert, Victor did end up figuring out distribution, or rather, his ceramicist did. She does it all now. Luckily for Victor, all those struggles are paying off, literally. In the last quarter, Internet Shaquille averaged over $15,000 in monthly e-commerce revenue, which is 50% higher than what other creators of his size are making. And that traffic all comes from two ad reads that he did on his own channel for Barkley. And so I thought instead of doing an ad read at the end, I'll just promote ah. Barkley. And those were like massive sales. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so I remember like refreshing the Shopify page, like I sold $14,000 worth of 
merch. That... So if doing something so simple is so profitable, then why doesn't Victor do more ad reads on his own channel? Because Victor doesn't really want to scale Barkley, at least not too fast. Running a whole business is a lot of work, and in the case of Barkley, the margins are relatively thin. That $14,000 in Barkley sales in one month, his margins were about 20% which is roughly $3,000 in profit. Compare that to one 30 second ad read for $5,000 where 100% of that goes to him and he doesn't have to deal with all the customer relations, shipping and other overhead that comes with the business of ceramics. So no wonder he doesn't wanna scale too much. He's got a good thing going. Plus, there's that whole branding thing where he doesn't want his business to become another soulless corporate cash grab by growing too fast. Because what makes Barkley so special and what makes Internet Shaquille so popular is that Victor truly cares about what he's doing and the impact he has on the world. Internet Shaquille doesn't care about the numbers or the trends, and that's exactly why he's so successful. Knowing your minimum viable audience frees you from some of the constraints of capitalism and lets you put out quality content when you want and how you want to. Internet Shaquille shows us that you can lead a very rich life, literally and figuratively, without some of the stresses a lot of creators face, like burnout or being accused of selling out. And that's kind of a beautiful thing.